Hey, I'm Ray Miller with Audio Advisor. Ever wondered why so many high-end speaker stands and audio racks have these little small spikes on the bottom? Are they just for looks or do they actually make a difference? Stick around, I'll show you exactly why these little details can improve your sound quality through the physics of vibration control. You see, spikes do more than just support your speakers or audio rack. They manage vibration in two directions. First, they help drain unwanted energy vibration out of your audio gear by channeling it into the floor. This matters because internal vibrations from transformers, motors, and even the movement of audio signals can create micro distortions that compromise audio clarity. At the same time, they block vibrations from external sources like your speakers, subwoofer, furnace motor, or even footsteps from vibrating your equipment. These external vibrations can cause components to resonate at frequencies that interfere with the audio signal, particularly affecting delicate analog components. Result, clearer sound with better detail retrieval, tighter bass response, and a more immersive listening experience. So, how do they work? It's all about physics. Spikes act as a mechanical filter by minimizing the contact area between your gear and the floor to just a tiny point. This drastically reduces the surface through which vibrations can transfer in either direction. Think of it like this. When sound waves cause vibrations, they need a pathway to travel. A flat surface creates a wide highway for these vibrations, while a spike creates just a narrow path. This Point contact principle follows basic mechanical coupling theory, where less contact area means fewer vibrations are transmitted. This principle applies to all speaker types. For bookshelf speakers on stands, spikes ensure that acoustic energy from the cabinet doesn't create sympathetic vibrations in the stand itself. For speakers, this means more precise reproduction of the audio signal without unwanted added resonance. For electronics like turntables, tube amps, and CD players, where even tiny vibrations can introduce jitter or modulation distortion, spike isolation can reveal layers of detail you never knew existed in your favorite recordings. The results? Bass notes become tighter and more defined rather than boomy. The soundstage gains focus and precision with instruments and vocals locked into place rather than seeming to drift. You'll hear improved timing, rhythm, and pace, what audiophiles sometimes call the Pratt Factor in good sound reproduction. Now, while spikes offer excellent vibration control, they can present challenges on certain floor types. On hardwood or tile floors, direct spike contact can potentially damage your flooring. Now, one effective solution is to place specially designed metal cone cups or discs underneath the spikes. Products like our sonic saucers create a metal-to-metal -metal interface that preserves the vibration draining properties of spikes while distributing the weight to protect your floors. Now, we've heard some people using pennies underneath their spikes. Yeah, don't do that. We don't recommend it because eventually the spike will work its way through the penny and cause marks on the surface underneath. A second option is to replace the bottom spikes with isolation pad feet. But be sure the ones you choose have rubber or grippy foam on the bottom so the foot can't move or slide. These work through a different principle of vibration absorption rather than drainage, which can be preferable in apartments or rooms where floor transmitted vibrations might disturb others. So now you understand, those tiny spikes aren't just decorative details. They're working with the physics of sound transmission to improve your listening experience. Got more questions about speaker setup, stands or audio tweaks? Give us a call at 1-800-942-0220 or visit audioadvisor.com for expert advice. We love helping you get the best sound possible. If this video helped, 
hit that like button. Subscribe for more expert audio tips and drop a comment below. Do you use spikes, pads, or something else? Have you noticed audible improvements after adding spikes to your system? Let's chat. I'm Ray Miller. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.